Okay, so to get started with this activity, we're going to start by reading the instructions. This says on the next screen, graph the quadratic function and inequality, plot the points. So I see I have a quadratic function here, and then I have a linear inequality here. So I'm going to copy and paste my quadratic function first. Now notice it's not graphing anything. That's because we need to get rid of these two little quotation marks. So we're just going to take those out. Um, next, we're going to copy and paste this guy and put it in our screen as well. Again, we got, we got to get rid of those quotation marks. And now I'm going to go back to my first screen. And then it says plot the point. So I have four points to plot. Now, once I do this, I'm done with the instructions on this first screen because I'll have graphed these two and I'll have plotted the points. So again, you can just copy and paste. I'm going to pause the video so we can get rid of these little quotation marks. And then once we do that, we have our four points in our graph here. Okay, so going on to the next screen, it says, look where the quadratic and inequality overlap. The overlapping shaded region is a solution to this system. Based on the information, which point is a solution? So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to find where my red and my green areas overlap. Obviously, I only have one point that's in this double shaded region, and that's the purple point, which is 1 comma 5. So then I'll select 1 comma 5 on this screen, and then you'll move on. You have two problems that are similar to this. It's the same process that you're going to go through. Now, in order to get credit for this, what you're going to do is take screenshots of specific screens. So I need a screenshot of screen 2, screen 5, and screen 8. And you're going to put them in the box here and then upload that to Echo. So this is screen 2 of 10. That's how I know it's screen 2. I would take a screenshot of this and upload it to the document. Once you're done with all three, go ahead and submit to Echo.